Alright, this is the two hand transpo and um, all you need are two coins and your hands. Okay? The coin in my left hand is going to be in the center of my palm, just where I would classic palm it, like that. Um, so just in the center there. And then the right hand is going to be right at, uh, in the middle of your thumb, right here. This thumb area. So if I were to turn over my hand and twist my thumb, at the same time, I could throw it over to the other side. Right now, it's really simple, just the human eye can't see it normally unless you do it really slow. Um, or a camera that has a really fast frame rate, but um, normally you can't see this, okay? So, you want a table that's pretty high up. If it's too low, it's going to be hard to turn your hands over the right way. So you're showing each hand, and then I'm going to do this in slow motion, but basically what you're doing is just turning over and throwing your thumb. Like that. Just like that. Slow motion. Just like that. And I cover up the other coin. Then you can show you pushed into the table and two are here. Once again, you can do it. Two coins, slow motion, flicked over to the other side, and there's two. Now if you get it really fast, it'll just be like that, and you shouldn't be able to see it except maybe on camera. And that's it. Okay, the next one was more for less. Actually, don't need that. Um, so, okay, I had a half dollar and a quarter. Again, half dollars are really cool for spectators to see because they don't see them in, except for in Nevada and, like, New York because those are the gambling states where they use them. And, um, okay, so I started out with the half dollar right here in my hand. Uh, just finger palm. Uh, finger palm is just basically holding the coin in your palm in your, your fingers, right here. So it's not. It's not like you don't need to squeeze it hard or anything like that. Just let it rest. Actually, yeah. Actually, you do need to squeeze a little bit so it won't fall out. But that's not too much to ask for. Okay. And then you start with the quarter in the other hand. What you're gonna do is show that it's a normal quarter. And then when you want to start. Um, actually doing the trick, you're going to throw it and close your hand right afterwards. Right? Again, throw it, catch it, close your hand right afterwards. Now on the third time or whenever you choose, this time you're going to grab it on the top part, so the quarter is hanging down like that. Grab it right here, and um, as you go to throw it, you're just going to release with your fingers like that and get the half dollar out. Alright, once again, go like this, throw the half dollar right there, okay, yeah, oops. Um, okay, so then I go throw the half dollar, and then with this coin, all I'm going to do is just finger palm it again. Just put it right here, and it's a little bit hard to hold because it's a quarter, and it's really small compared to a half dollar. But um, you just hold that in finger palm as you show that this is a normal half dollar. And that's that. You can just like put it in your pocket or just throw it at the dog beside you. Doesn't really make a difference. Okay, now this is a strike vanish, which I did a pretty bad job of in the video. I'm surprised none of you guys commented on it, but um, okay, so what I did wrong was when I did the trick, I moved way too far to this side and brought the. It looked like I pulled the pen back instead of going up and down. Um, Okay, basically the trick works like this. I hit it twice. One, two, one, two, three. And as on the third one, I throw the coin up into my hand right here. So I'm going like that, and I'm keeping the coin right here in my hand. Okay, now, yeah, you might have noticed that I went one, two, one, two, three, instead of just one, two, three, because you want to make sure the spectator's watching. If they think you're going to do it right away on three, and they're going to look closely, and then you can do it again and catch the coin. Alright, so you go one, two, and they look close, and then you go one, two, three. Just like that. Now, okay, yeah, don't pull the coin back. You're going to want to twist your wrist and grab it that way. And, um, wow, I just had a blank out. Uh, okay, so one, two, one, two, three. Oh, yeah, okay, so you throw it up, and your uh, palm, catch it, hit your hand, show that it's empty. Now, 
from this position, if you can, you don't have to, you can just take their coin if you want to, but, um, uh, and just put it in your pocket, but what you're going to want to do is go like this and take the cap off with these two fingers if you want to reproduce the coin. Now what you do is get that coin so it's right behind that cap, right here, and you're holding it. Now you're just going to tap it. So from their view, it looks like this. One, two, one, two, three, whatever. It doesn't really matter. They probably want their money back, so they're looking anyways. Uh, you go like that. Let the coin fall out. And if you did it right, it, uh, to little kids, it looks like it just came out of the cap. Because it started like this and spread out. Um, yeah, oh yeah. Also, I'm going to show you, that's pretty much the same for... Oh, what's it called? Uh... I don't know, some, there's some trick you can buy an illusionist that's basically the same. Wow, I thought I could take this off easily. Okay, and it's um, pretty much the same as the Strike Vanish, except it looks like you're putting a coin through the glass. Oh, there's something in there, but okay. Um, I'm probably going to miss because I haven't done this with this size of a thing. It's pretty huge, but okay, so you're going to go same exact thing as the Strike Vanish. On three, you're going to scoop like this and throw the coin up into there into the bottom of the container just like that and as you come down it'll look like okay wow apparently I talked a lot um, I just ran out of memory again so I got a little bit cut off and I deleted some videos um, I'm not gonna say my camera is bad because it's not and it holds a lot of video but um, it gets a little bit annoying sometimes when it just randomly turns off okay so where I was uh, I think I just messed up on no, what did I do? Oh, yeah, I showed you what it was uh, supposed to look like, where you throw it up into here and hit it down. So it looks like you just had the coin and you hit it right inside into the container. All right, now, uh, the only other thing I wanted to show you was what it would look like a live performance. You go one, two, one, two, three, just like that. And it um, looks like I just slammed it through the coin, or slammed the coin through the bottle, just like that. And you can do this with a glass or anything. If it, the glass is too short, it's going to look really obvious to people, and it's going to look pretty bad. Um, I don't know what this looks like, but I would imagine it looks pretty good because the hole's so small right here. But, um, yeah, and that's that. The longer it is, the better it is, even though it's not very much harder. And that's it. You like have fun in practice. Okay, um, the man from New York is next. Um, <laughs> These explanations are taking a really long time and I keep getting cut off. So the video is probably going to be about 20 minutes, I would guess. I hope it's shorter than that because it's a pain to wait for it to buffer and stuff. Okay, so here... Oh, why am I doing that? Okay. What you're going to do for the trick, there is a little bit set up for the man from New York. I think it's like the only trick where you actually need a setup. And, um... Wow, where are they? You need the aces. Oh, here, they're all at the top. Okay. Uh, the four aces, or the four kings, or the four twos, or the four threes, it doesn't make a difference at all. Um, four of some kind, and put them on top of the deck with one other card, and it's, these are going to be face down. So I have one more card underneath the four aces, right here. Now, all you have to do is cut down about half of the deck, right here, and flip the top half face up just like that and catch a break now um god I keep losing my train of thought uh okay yeah so you have the face up cards and the face down cards on the bottom now all you're gonna do is pretend like you randomly cut the deck to here when really you're just taking it at the break you're gonna deal down or right, you're gonna flip this pack over the pack that was face down you're gonna flip it face up and start it with this face face up cards so we've got one, so that's first ace, second ace, third ace, fourth ace, stop, okay? The reason you have this card is so that it covers the rest of these and it looks like the pack's face down. 